at Best Buy, the best place on earth. Kind of looking at phones, might get a new one today, I'm not sure. Just looking, they have an ELP and 35. Kind of like you guys, but different. And here's one that's blue. Definitely not for me though. Here's a new one, the ELP 340. This is you guys' probably next body, hopefully. Um, yeah. My thoughts on it? Well, it's definitely different. Um, there are some things that I don't even know where they are. Like that. But yeah, I hope you're having a great day. Um, I got away from the family really quick, so yeah. You know how that is. Ooh, that's pretty. What? It's that time of night where I say goodnight. Um, we, had, we were in the mall, we were like kind of everywhere. We were um, phone shopping, plan shopping, everything. I'm not technically able to upgrade or leave my plan, leave the plan until January, but my parents can leave it now. So they're gonna be switching from Sprint to AT&T, which is actually cheaper and better. Um, we've had no issues with Sprint, but still we're gonna be switching and then in January I'll be switching over. And then we were looking at phones and who wants this phone or that phone. I'm gonna stick with my iPhone. My, I'm gonna upgrade to a 5S. Um, super excited about that one. It won't be for a while, but hey, I'm still happy. Um, today was September 11th. And today was a Thursday. And as we all know, it happened 13 years ago. Wow. Um, I will never forget where I was. I was, was sitting in English class. Um, had no clue what was happening. Um, class lit out. We left. I went through the through, we walked through the hallway, not knowing anything. We went in. I went into history class, where a history teacher came in and he proceeded to tell us that our English teacher had called. Her husband had called, and um, he had told everyone what was what had happened and. Um, you know, it's really weird because I was in 11th grade, but yet I had never heard about these towers, ever. And so, we sat there for the entire class because we had an incredible history teacher. And we talked about all of the things that were happening and what was going on. My next class was study hall, um, and I asked to go to the library, so I went to the library. And lo and behold, there was a TV put in there, and... Um, so I was kind of watching that and, you know, I, I don't remember if I saw the second plane crash, but I do know I watched some of the, to the towers fall down, the second tower at least. Um, wow, yeah, I'll never forget that. I remember then after that I went to, uh, lunch it was. And I remember sitting down, or I remember walking in and I walked into another TV. More TVs were set up. And there was a kid there who I had known from my church. He was sitting there just watching it. And I said something to him and he says, he told me that two of the guys from my youth group happened to be in Pennsylvania doing a roofing job. And I went, oh my goodness, this could really, this is not good. So all I could do was pray. And the whole day, it was just kind of a crazy day. Came home everywhere, of course. In days following, you know, there's no planes or anything happening, no flights, that was weird, you know, there were supposed to be planes flying in the sky, but there wasn't, and um, it was just really hard, and my sister had then mentioned to me that her friend's mother actually used to work in the Pentagon, and about a week before it happened, her job happened to move her to another location, thank God, because she would have been in there. I don't know if she would have made it, but she would have been in there. So that hit close to home. And then um, she had a friend who was actually supposed to be in the towers, but he ended up for something, for some reason came up and he didn't go. And I, through some other ways, I was able to speak to a man, a firefighter, who actually helped clean up Ground Zero. And I got to hear some stories and it was just unbelievably incredible. 
and it's just to this day I'll never forget what happened and it was just it was heartbroken and as I learned more and more of course yeah I cried and it was it was a crazy situation we all had to deal with that but okay let's not end on a sad note but just a somber note you know thinking about it we all know um so yeah my parents are gonna get new phones tomorrow and um I don't know what else is happening. It was a chill day. It was really chilly outside. Coming from summer, we're like, oh no, I need to go. I need to put pants, slacks on instead of shorts. But whatever. That's fall. And I'm excited to wear hoodies and stuff. My favorite kind of weather. So I hope you all had a great day. Um, let me know where you were on 9-11. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.